So hey guys, I have taken my drill to the Aston Martin DB4, as you can see the indentations there, that is just basically to drill out the uh, pillar that holds the body to the undercarriage of the car, there's basically on the 360 model Gorgis, there's two at the back, and then there is like one at the front basically of these pop rubber things that goes goes through the undercarriage of the body and uh, it basically uh, just holds everything in place as you can see i don't know how good you can see i've actually tried starting to sand it down um, but now i have a dremel that i use so i think it's going to be much easier to clean this up and basically the models as well that i've done was also in the same rough condition as this one. Alright, so we've drawn it out. Let us see what is inside. Now, I know the windows is shot on this one. Apparently, with the guy that I'm ordering the parts from the window and the tires, he says on his page, and I'll link his page in the description as well for you guys to go and check him out, that there is hinges, left and right hinges, for the Aston Martin DB4. I don't know how true that is and we'll we'll see when we get into it all right so let us just take this apart for now let's just put that to the one side so you guys can see all right so on these 60s the interior was quite modest um, it is very dirty you can see the steering wheel there and uh, but like I said it was a very modest piece of plastic that they just stuck in so with a bit of cleaning up a bit of dishwashing liquid I think this will also look good after we finish with that for the rest of the undercarriage of the car it does look nice the uh, wheel axles are still in very good condition and uh, just with a little bit of cleaning up of my Dremel this will absolutely look brilliant at the end of the day okay guys so for the rest of it we've uh, only got the uh, floppy uh, bonnet lid you can actually see it's very loose there if you look from it from the inside it doesn't seem like it's got hinges like that guy advertised on his uh, on his uh, on his page so what I'll have to do as well with this model is I'll have to remove the engine compartment and you can actually see that the window is also fastened in place with a, another pin there and uh, that I'll also have to remove so this I'll have to remove and then we can only see really what's going inside the motor um, for now it actually looks like it's still in good working condition there's no hinges that I can see so I don't know if it's just false advertising or whatever I don't think so, I think it's maybe just on another model, maybe I just misread, so I'll just make sure about that, and then we'll remove this. As I said earlier, the paint on this model is still in very good condition, we'll have to get all the paint off with some, with some paint stripper, and uh, the window is broken, so I'll have to get replacement parts for that. Alright, so guys, what I want to show you, just quickly... Just bear with me. I use the Dremel tool. This is the 8100. It is a wireless one, so I can carry it around everywhere. And then uh, I bought a Dremel kit. It's like a, it's like a polishing kit that you buy at any shop. So I'll be using this to clean the undercarriage. And I just want to show you actually how easy it is to work with the Dremel and to get this baby cleaned up so what we want to do is we don't want to go over 15,000 revs per minute on this because uh, then it might start damaging the aluminium parts and then it's just a matter of going over over the uh, whole undercarriage of the car and uh, because this wire brush is so thin or so flexible, it doesn't scratch it doesn't scratch the car at the end of the day. So this is much better than sanding. 
and uh, I must say it's an absolute joy to use this uh, tool and uh, I'll be using this tool on all my restorations from now on because it is just an absolute charm to use it so just after a couple of seconds you can actually see the color coming through there and uh, you can actually start reading at the bottom just watch out for your fingers when you do that and please wear protective glasses when you do it so uh, basically uh, that was a couple of seconds and you can actually see the result thereof you can actually see the nice silver color it is still plated underneath all of the grit and dirt and oxidation that's on the body so when you guys do this get yourself a dremel guys i'm going to leave spielplatz's email down below and his website and if you also want to do restorations like this you can go and check them out let's get into it so guys i've eventually taken everything apart you can actually see the color of the car was actually red before someone did a very shoddy paint job on it um, I think what happened was the paint was stripped off and the guy painted it in this whitish and black color you can actually see uh, how we went over so that's quite horrible paint job but uh, for the most part of it I'll restore it to its former glory and paint it in the Aston Martin DB4 red again for the window itself as you can see it is broken it's actually held together there by a clip and I had to remove it forcefully to get it out for the uh, bonnet itself it still is in very good condition as you can see there as well it was the red color and uh, someone just painted black over it so I'm quite thankful for that because it preserves the car and I'm glad they didn't just leave the car as is so for the engine you can actually see that i've drilled out and you can see on the car itself i've drilled out the engine compartment one of my clips broke off it actually supports but that's no problem i'll just uh, fix that and uh, you can actually see the nice red color of it how it looked like and the inside of the engine is in very very nice condition still and uh, just a clean and a wash with some dishwashing liquid and then we'll see how it looks like I'm gonna try and polish inside as well I don't know if that's gonna work as good as I hope but uh, for now we uh, gotta get to stripping all the paint off so hey guys um, after I've cleaned it up quite a lot more um, there's still some paint on it the guy that tried to do the original restoration on this vehicle did not do it properly and uh, you can actually see there's a lot of scratch marks after I've removed all the paint and that was all filled up with the black paint um, there's a couple of nicks I've tried to fix that basically the soles the window front window soles is broken um, so basically just stuck them back together and uh, there's a lot of sanding that I still need to do to get this vehicle looking like it's supposed to look but you can actually see it's been if you look at it from this side you can actually see it looks like it's got a slant on the roof so someone stepped on it or something like that but anyway so there's a lot of scratches at the back at the front on the sides here and that was just me after removing the paint and uh, there's a lot of paint that actually accumulated in the vents on the side as well that I needed to remove and uh, for the uh, bonnet as well you can actually see some of the scratches on there sideways scratches dents so there's a lot of a lot of work that still needs to go into this to make it looking proper I've actually have started on the bottom of this you can actually see there the color is coming out quite nice and that's just using my Dremel 
I've started with some of the mags as well, the rims, the back ones have been done, came out looking nice, the front ones I still need to do, and then uh, for the engine compartment I've actually started cleaning it up a little bit, you can actually see the nice shine of it, and then for the inside this absolutely looks amazing, it's got the nice chrome colour that's coming back. And that's basically what I want to do to basically, you can actually see the color there, the discoloration. And at the end of the day, after a lot of Dremel work that's going to go into this model, all of these parts are going to look like this brand new motor. So guys, let me get into some sanding. So hey guys, it's been a couple of months. Um, I actually explained to you in one of my previous videos, I've moved to the city and uh, I'm here in my new workshop, surrounded by all my model cars. And uh, it's time to get back to the Aston Martin. In the last clip, I basically showed you, I was still telling you guys I want to sand it down. You can actually see there came out looking pretty nice that was all done with the Dremel and I've actually got a speed clip it's the 47, 473S speed clip of the Dremel that I used to polish this model and uh, this works like a jet so guys you can actually see we've cleaned up the interior, basically this modest piecing piece of um, plastic that they actually call the interior of the car. It does look much better than it used to look like. The underside of the car is all done. Got the nice silver color there. Looks pretty good. The engine compartment, I've just gone in with my uh, Dremel as well and just cleaned it up some more. So it looks very gorgeous actually. I'm not going to paint this, this is just going to stay as is and then uh, bring it to the body we basically got the body also done sanded down there's still a lot of scratches on it but for the better part of it, it looks good and uh, we are going to paint over it so you're not going to see it actually but I must say it did, it did come out nice you can actually see there, I've fixed the window stays on the side as well for the front window this side and that side when we paint it up we won't be able to see the the broken bits so I think it's gonna look quite decent when uh, we get this model up and up and running so guys for the paint I've actually opted for a yellow zinc chromate paint um, this is not from testers, this is from Model Masters, you can actually see the yellow color there and that is what our Aston Martin baby is going to be painted with hopefully this color pops when it's on the model, I think it will but uh, I'm going to cut the video here you guys have to check out part 2 of the restoration of the Aston Martin DB4 so guys please, if you like this video Check out my other videos, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and uh, please be kind to your neighbor. Rattling Ghost, cheers.